A man looks at a watch. His name is Hal. He gets a call and places an order of waffles. He lets Rebecca in. Rebecca takes out the legal documents and waits for Hal to finish up his call. Rebecca records the conversation and questions him. She asks him personal questions like what do you weigh? She verifies that if he lies the board might not be able to give him the position. She questions him erotically about what age he lost his virginity. She assumes it is 25. He tells her she didn't stick to the script. She explains that she doesn't get physical with her clients because what they need is mental, not physical. Hal has a kink. She tells him to not disappoint her. She tells him to clean his bathroom. While she watches, he asks for help. She tells him to take off his clothes so he won't ruin them. He crawls to the toilet and starts cleaning. She insults him. She tells him it is clean and that he has earned a treat. She lets him pleasure himself, but she tells him not to bust. She warns him if he does. She insults him while he does. Everything was in the script. Rebecca takes off her wig. She collects her cash for her service. He applauds her acting. They eat dinner together. She said she liked the scene because he was committed. She liked how he brought in the real life stuff like how he got the new role in the company after his father's passing. Hal explains that he was the assumed successor. She liked how in the scene the board was a looming threat over him. He explains that they don't have a board of directors. He goes to get something for her. He gives her a box. She finds a pishue. He says it's one of the nicest watches in the world. He thanks her for everything she has done for him and the support. He says it's been helpful, but they need to depart. He explains that to become the CEO of the company he needs to be truthful and he doesn't believe doing it with her will be good for the next stage of his life. She doesn't take it well and abruptly leaves. She looks at an old family photo of the Porterfields and Hal as a boy. She comes to tell him something. She quotes his father's book about winning. She asks him what he knows about winning because he is a loser that uses his father. She is a winner because when she was 19 her dentist said her mouth was perfect. She tells him if she hadn't taught him what he knows he would be unfit. He tells her isn't really what they do in role play. She said at the start he could barely speak to people. She knows that the $32,000 watch isn't worth the 118 million market cap he owns. She wants her worth which is half the amount a CEO makes a year for a million. If not, she will tell. She threatens to tell the media about all the scenarios they have been through. He doesn't care because people won't care what he does with his money. She catches a lie and realizes they do have a board of directors. He doesn't care about the blackmail. He takes a call. She thinks about what to do. She says she has a video. She hid a secret camera and has hours of video footage. Rebecca starts dancing and taunting him. He wants to know where it is. Hal starts smashing things trying to find the camera, while Rebecca dances and plays hot and cold with him. He tells her she will never have money. He smashes a TV. She tells him it's sad he has everything in the world and still feels like trash. He smashes a light and grabs in the hole. He falls down. She tells him it's real. He smashes a shelf. He tells her she is trash and he can get rid of her and he will. She admits she was lying about the video. He kicks her out. He tells her she didn't teach him anything. She takes off her clothes. She pledges her allegiance to America. She forces him to take off his pants. She forces him to get her pregnant. He relucts and says that he will pay for her worth $6 million. She tells him to deposit the money quarterly so the IRS won't come looking for her. She leaves. She gets a call from Alexander. She tells him to stop calling. Hal goes to ask for collateral to stop her from continuously coming back for more money. She declines and says because he doesn't want to see her. He might have to consider a position in perpetuity. She wants a position in the company. He drags her and she screams. She threatens to tweet the video to the company. She shows him the video. He tackles her. He ties her to a beam. He wants to know what she wants so they can move on with their lives. He starts begging her. She explains that she stopped her broker and broke up with her husband Alexander because she felt disloyal to him. Him. She explains that after her first session, she got an obsession and she started taping the sessions for herself. She explains that when she is outside she hates herself, when she is with him she is exactly who she wants to be. He uses the safe word sanctuary. He doesn't believe her. He grabs a knife. He tells her to stop talking. She convinces him to play a game where she pretends to be his father. She tells him how useless of a son he is a mess he made. She turns off the lights. She tells him about how useless he 
he is and that he will never be like his father. He will never live up to his dream of him and he cries at night. He accepts. He hugs her. Rebecca wakes up in the bathroom. He gives her the watch. She goes to the elevator. Hal follows because he's going to dinner. She tells him to do a management buyout and he could fire the board and the people. He decides to buy back the company and make Rebecca CEO. He tells her she can control all the people by will and it doesn't matter if she is good or bad. Hal says he will be the housewife for her. He would introduce her to his mom. They kiss. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing.